This demo video will take you through a few of the features and functions supported by the Interactive Map Layer solution inside the HERE platform. As a brief introduction, Interactive Map Layers offer a set of unique capabilities enabling you to store, retrieve, search for, analyze, and modify data at both the feature and the feature property level. Before we dive into the specifics of Interactive Map Layers, it is important to first understand how these layers differ from the other layer types available in the HERE platform. Each layer has a different set of characteristics and therefore is optimized for a different set of geospatial data use cases. All other layers are optimized for big data processing, and the major difference of the interactive map layer is that it is optimized for visualization, analysis, and modification of data on a map. Even though the HERE platform does provide map visualization for other layer types, such as versioned and volatile layers, that visualization doesn't offer you the same rich, interactive data inspection and analysis tools, nor does it offer the ability to modify data real-time on a map. These capabilities are what set the interactive map layer apart. Let's walk through a few examples of how you can use interactive map layers. Our first set of examples leverages an application we integrated with the HERE routing service and involves performing spatial searches using a map of Amsterdam. We begin by uploading an extract of the places dataset from HERE data layers to an interactive map layer. Any data in GeoJSON can be uploaded to an interactive map layer. With the data uploaded, we can use the controls to perform both a property search as well as a spatial search using a point, line, area, or isoline route. In this spatial search example, we are using isoline routing to find all coffee shops within walking distance of a given point. Behind the scenes, the interactive map layer is using routing information provided by the routing service to accurately represent the correct places on a map. Similarly, we can draw a line to find all coffee shops within a given radius of that line. Once you've entered your search, you can seamlessly pan and zoom across the map. Now that we've already located all the coffee shops in the area, let's go ahead and add a new coffee shop. Using the visual interface, we can create, locate, and name the coffee shop. These changes are automatically stored to the layer in real time. We can also change the name of an existing coffee shop. Changing the name is an example of changing a feature property, and again, this change is automatically stored to the layer in real time. In our last example, we have uploaded a very large open data set of global cell tower locations from opencellid.org. We will use data sampling functions provided by interactive map layers to create an efficient visual representation of this large data set while maintaining the geographic distribution of that entire source data set. Without sampling, visualizing a large data set would take a long time to load. This data set in particular contains over 43 million tower locations around the world, yet a representational view of the data enables the interactive map layer to render a visualization of it very quickly. You can see that bright clusters of these points indicate a higher density of places in those areas. While this map is not technically a heat map, it does provide you with a solid impression of the entire dataset's distribution. Panning and zooming is still possible within this large dataset, supported by the real-time interactivity. It is the optimization for visualization that makes interactive map layers ideal for these use cases. The same functions and the same level of place granularity are simply not available with other layer types because the other layer types store data in large tiles optimized for big data processing. While you can retrieve all data in a tile, loading data from a tile is not optimized for a quick visual interaction. With interactive map layers, data can be retrieved dynamically at any zoom level. The other layer types are equally powerful, but are simply optimized for different use cases. These spatial search, map modification, and data sampling functions are just a few of the powerful tools which set interactive map layers apart from other layer types in the HERE platform. You can learn more about these layer types by reviewing interactive map layer documentation 
available at developer.here.com slash documentation.